today. This is the April collab video and I'm excited about this one. We had several submissions, uh, several people who were interested and the topic we're going to be talking about is what are my hobbies and obsessions? What are those things I can spend hours doing? When we are autistic we have our obsessive hobbies and interests and we enjoy talking about those. All right let's get started. Let's jump right in. So I'm the first one up. I'm going to tell you about what my obsessive hobbies and interests are and one of those things being books. I really really love books and in fact when I went on vacation this time I spent 30 minutes in Ollie's just looking down the book section even hid down an aisle hoping that my husband wouldn't find me because I wanted to really look at those books. I love books especially religious and fiction books. Photography has been a love of mine since I was a child. This is my Nikon D610. This is the camera that I have used to take so many photos, so many photos. And I've got all the equipment that goes with that also. This is my camera bag that I used to take when I would do photo sessions. Got my speed light, Nikon speed light, different size lenses for whatever I want to do, macro photography or portraits or anything like that. I used to make photo composites where I would take a picture and I would put the image with something else in a different background in my Adobe Photoshop program. This is one of my favorite ones called Salt of the Earth. My other massive hobby is content creating, editing videos, making videos. That's something new. I've done photography my whole life. So there you go. Moving on to the next person. Hello. One of my special interests is making YouTube videos for my channel, Autistic Not Alien. I spend hours making each video. I love the creativity and autonomy. The thought of making a video can drag me through a difficult week and actually making one is a great distraction from the world and all its horrors. This footage is taken from a parody I made for my Autistic Not Alien video about special interests. It took me ages and I feel quite guilty about the indulgence but I've come to realise that my special interests are a way of coping in such a hostile and unpredictable world. When I'm making YouTube videos, I'm on my own and in control of my environment, both literally and virtually. I love the thought that my videos might support, inspire or amuse someone. YouTube videos by other autistic people have been a huge comfort for me and I like the idea of giving something back as part of a creative community. I wish I was financially free enough to make films full time, but for now, I'll just have to grab time when I can and be grateful that I have a special interest that I can be so happily immersed in. Thank you for listening and take care. Hey, I'm Orion Kelly, that autistic guy. This is not my channel though. This is Jenny's, Jenny Aspie. So this is Jen's video about things like special interests, hobbies, collections, which is a really fascinating topic for autistic people. So in, in, from my point of view, do I have hobbies? I don't think so. Do I have special interests? Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't, I find that hard to explain collections. Maybe it's better just to talk about special interests. Then again, I do have collections. I have collections of microphones. I can show you a few. So I have a podcast microphone and another little microphone and a video microphone and a little USB microphone, this thing here. So I, I guess, yes, in hindsight, I do have, a, have collections. I love content creation. I love making things. I, lo I, I love uh, podcasts because I have my radio background. So microphones has always been a big thing. I mean, so I've got a few microphones. That's a collection, I guess. I'm obsessed with that. I love making content and video content. I've probably got a collection of cameras now too. I've got a couple of cameras, but anyway. When I'm not making content creation though, I really love a few things. I love criminal law based stuff. And I also love astronomy. So the universe and space and, and things like that. I find that science side really fascinating and also love criminal law. So <laughs> I'm, I'm actually on the ground now. Um, it's not good. So <laughs> this is the weirdest angle I've ever been a part of. Um, here's a collection of law books, obviously the ones that I'm interested in. Most of criminal law, I mean, I just find that fascinating. And it doesn't necessarily need to be true crime. I just find the whole criminal process fascinating. So, I mean, even the investigative process, the criminal procedure from the start right through. Uh, so I've got those books. Quite a lot of books, in fact. 
on that. I think that's really it. And I'm pretty comfortable. You know, as an autistic person, I, I guess in my experience, I don't have a lot on the go at once, right? Just so happens my core special interest content creation is something I can do regularly, but when I'm not doing that, I'm lo just loving watching shows and learning more about criminal justice stuff, but also, you know, science, the universe. They're the things that really blow my hair back. Hi everyone, I'm Alejandro, and my, what I really like to do is to create images and videos or animations based on mathematical objects. So before showing you the, the animation, I wanted to explain to you what you will be seeing. It's, it's called a binary tree. A binary tree is created simply by having one line and then the light branches into two, two new lines. And this line form an angle, right? Like, like the branches of a tree. So in the following animation, you will see two trees, one branching to the left, another one to the right to have a symmetrical image. And there will be several iterations of the animation because I'm changing the angle that these two new branches form every time uh, a branch a split occurs. So I hope you like the video and greetings, greetings from Madrid. So a couple of my special interests for this collaboration, I gotta get on the ball. Uh, writing music, stuff like that. Uh, doing a little programming with uh, Arduino type IDE with uh, anything. I could do it, I like to hook it up in different ways. You know, whatever weird patterns I can come up with for stuff. And then I like to do electronics. Like, it's kind of bright in here, but you might be able to get the gist that this little guy lights up all these LEDs and runs off one AA battery with a little circuit board that I made. And then it was such a great interest, I went ahead and made it surface mount components down there, same thing. And I even made a newer version of this where the switch is even a tiny micro switch on here so it doesn't take up any space. And uh, I love doing electronics. We got gardening and we got a couple of chickens over there in the chicken coop right there. And uh, you know, of course went a little overboard. Let me show you the sign. And these are the first three ladies. Hi ladies. And uh, you see old Four Hands Garage, 3D printed, made it. It'll light up sooner or later. Played in a couple of bands years ago, uh, heavy metal bands. And then out here we build, uh, we build hot rods. I'll show you. It's got a modern fuel injected engine in it. LS powered 1965 Impala wagon. Got an iPad in the middle for navigation and music. It's got a beautiful four link rear end with a Watts link built in the back that I made. And that's about it. I just like creating stuff, all kind of things. Got a pack of new PCBs right here for some stuff. I just, I like to create stuff and I like to solve problems and troubleshoot and stuff like that. So that's what I do, even for fun. Hi Jenny. My special interest, basically my whole life, have been trying to figure out what's wrong with me. You know, if, if you're autistic, you know what I mean. That's always been something that I just didn't get. Uh, for me, from a very young age, I thought information. I thought books. I thought people knew something that I didn't. And it came easy to them. I just thought I was missing whatever that was. So information, books, was, was where I went for that. Uh, but YouTube's a beautiful thing. I've learned so much from so many beautiful people, especially the autistic community. It's, it's, it's an amazing thing. And, and, and thank you, Jenny, for, for your videos as well. Uh, to, okay, I'm going to cut this short and just say I make videos. Uh, I'm, tr I'm, I'm starting to, I'm trying to, because I want to get the information out. I think this is very important that, that people don't know that they have autism. And, and if they did, their lives would be a lot better. A lot better. Mine's a lot better. My hobbies, my, my, my special interests are just getting the word out. 
I hope I didn't make this too long. If it's too long, I'm sorry. Uh, cheers, Jenny. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, all. Good luck. Get tested. Self-diagnosis is real. It is worth it. You are, you know, self-diagnosis is the first step, regardless. My name is Autumn Brown, and I have my human suit. Hi Jenny, I want to tell you about one of my special interests and that is music. So I just want to talk about one aspect of music and that is singing. I've been singing since I was a child and uh, one thing about um, how it became one of my obsessions is that I used to analyze the different voices. So I listened to many different artists and I was trying to copy them because I was so fascinated uh, about how they used their voices through different songs. So sometimes, you know, the dynamics changes and uh, they can sing very powerful and they can sing very airy and, you know, with a lot of emotion or just, yeah. So I was very fascinated about how singers were using their voices in a, um, to be able to uh, reflect their emotions. Um, I was trying out different techniques and I was like, hmm, this singer has something special in their voice. So I was like, what is it with this voice that makes me so uh, affected? Or like, yeah, it's hard to describe, but I was very inspired by different singers. So uh, I've been practicing since I was a child, but I try to develop my own voice as well. So I don't just copy when I sing my own songs. Um, but yeah, it's a, a lot of fun. So I can recommend that to anyone. Just try to copy someone's singing voice. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and go down there and comment. Who did you relate to the most? What are your hobbies? What would you have said in the video? And I hope you'll join me in my next collab, which will be in May. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.